welcome to episode two of the killer series today we are talking about fred and rose west fred west became one of the most horrific serial killers known in the united kingdom and his wife rose responsible for dis dismemberment and murder of women and young girls including two of their very own family members west was waiting for trial for 12 murders and hung himself on january 1st of 1985. he was one of six children west was reportedly his mother's favorite child there had been reports however that this dark that they had a dark shadowing cast as the west family had not been the greatest family. Some of the claims that West was sexually abused by his own mother. West t himself later told authorities that his father had inconspicuous relations with younger girls around him. And although these were never actually sustained, his young, young West recurred another head injury and possibly permanent brain damage from an incident where he caught, allegedly had caught his father and upon taking off the fire escape at his young youth trying to hide. West's subsequently, subsequent behavior was erratic and he became known to the police for various crimes. Then in 1961, he was executed for impregnating a 13 year old girl who was a friend of West's, causing his p banishment from the family's home. He became a construction worker and was soon caught stealing from his employers and again having sex with minors. At trial for rape and for young family friends, he escaped jail sentence and was claimed that he was suffering as fit as a result of his trauma. He ha was convinced uh, he was convicted, however, of a child as a child molester, but got away with a lot of his acts due to a potential head injury that happened as a child. He was excused over and over. He became involved with Rose Costaleo, a Scottish girl who had a police record for burglary and pr prostitution. At the time, she was pregnant with another man's child. She was, she and Wes married in November of 1962, and a child was born in March of 1963, whom they had called Carmia. Carmia. But trouble continued to brew at the West's home, and the new job as an ice cream, as ice cream van driver, gave him steady access to young teenagers who fell prey to his interests. Early in the 1967s, McFall became pregnant with West's child, who he had met while Rose was gone, urging him to divorce Rena and marry her instead. While Rose was away, many different women came in and out of his life. West was unwilling to do so, however, so she, so he killed his pregnant partner, McFall, and in July had buried her near a near the car caravan park, cutting off all her fingers and toes. Signature uh, mutilation that was to become a common feature in his future crimes. Rena moved into the caravan following McFall's disappearance, however. He became adequantal with Rose Letts, who was to become his next wife and lifelong accomplice. The behavior extended to beyond the family circle when in late 1972, the engaged 17-year-old Caroline Owens as a nanny, given the West's vicious sex acts, did not result in murder every time, and the sheer number of attacks, it was inevitable that someone would expose their activities. In the course of the investigation, Savage uncovered the abuse of Anne-Marie as well as the disappearance of uh, many others. Warranting further investigation, rumors also about what might be buried under the patio. The young West children were taken into care and the Rose attempted suicide at this time, although she found her, was found by her son, Stephen, and was revived. On December 13, 1994, West was charged on 12 accounts of murder and taken into custody at Winston Green Prison in Birmingham, Birmingham, 
where on January 1st, 1995, he hung himself in his cell with knotted bed sheets. Rose West went into trial on October 3rd, 1995, gave a life sentence, having served a minimum of 23 years in jail. Rose West refused to accept her fate and launched appeals in 1996. Appeals were rejected and she was dropped that, that time later on. She remains in a carcinated facility. Fred and Rose were known as the as molesters, not always ending their victims in death, more just sexually assaulting them and then some letting them live, sometimes not. Children, their own children, Fred's past children with previous wives before Rose, all being accused, accusing him, however, of molestations. Even as a young age, he impregnated a 13-year-old girl, and he was not much older. He had always had a preference for younger girls, and that never changed. And as I said, he committed suicide, and as did his wife attempt to. And allegedly, she's still in jail to this day. That is terrifying, because they didn't really kill people. Not all of them. But they molested you. They sexually abused you. But some say that Rose and West, Rose West and Fred West, do have mental problems and are excused from all problems as they were traumatized and molested as children. Does that give them the right to do what they did to others? To hurt children? To kill? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.